Hi. What I'd like to walk you through right now is the lesson we did on electron configuration. So the first thing that you need to remember is the type of orbitals, atomic orbitals, that each atom has. And so we have s orbitals and they contain um, one orbital that can hold two electrons. We have P, which contains three orbitals, and they can hold a total of six electrons. We have D, which contains five orbitals, which can hold ten electrons. We have F, which contains seven orbitals, which can hold 14 electrons. Now, the other thing that's important is to know the order in which these orbitals are filled. And so you're going to have to um, put this on all the, the tests or quizzes or homeworks that you do because you're going to need this field to fill these atomic orbitals. It's not so much something that you need to memorize, but something that you need to learn. Your first energy level just has an S orbital. Your second energy level has an S, and it has a P. Your third energy level has an S, a P, and a D. Your fourth energy level has an S, a P, a D, and an F. Your fifth energy level has an S, a P, a D, and an F, and so on and so forth. And taking it down to seven or eight will usually be sufficient to, to cover all of the elements that we'll be dealing with. And then the other thing that is important is to remember the direction in which they are filled. So we always fill in the diagonal. We fill the 1s first, then the 2s, then the 2p, then the 3s, then the 3p, and then the 4s, and then the 3d, the 4p, and the 5s, 4d, 5p, and 6s, 4f, 5d, 6p, 7s, and so on and so forth. Okay? And so the example that I'm going to show you today is going to be, let's see, how about potassium? So I'm going to pick potassium. I can write a K here. And that has 19 electrons. So what I like to do is I like to write out a whole bunch of orbitals. So I have 1s, 2s, 2p. And I space them like they're words. So in between I have the spaces so it doesn't get confusing. 3s, 3p, 4s, 3d, and I just put a bunch of them out there. Then I need to go and fill my orbitals. So I have 19 electrons, and it's important that I give my electrons the opposite spins. So 1, 2, 3, 4. And then when I get to um, orbitals with multiple orientations, I fill them in opposite first. And so then I have 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. When I want to, um, this is my orbital notation that I just wrote. And if I want to write the electron configuration, I just count up how many electrons are in each of these and I write 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s1. And this is 
my electron. Lost my arrow there. Configuration. And if I'm looking for the number of valence electrons, valence electrons are outer electrons. So I look for um, my highest energy level, which we refer to as floors in our hotel analogy. If I pick another pin here. So my highest one here is this one. Uh, it's the four. And um, so in this case, um, potassium has one valence electron, and it happens to be the 4s electron. Um, I hope that helps you review, and I hope as we learn this, um, this will be a good resource for you um, as you are studying and mastering this concept.